Do deodorants cause breast cancer? Is breast cancer contagious? And do implants cause cancer? These are some of the myths you hear, and today, let's talk about them. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha, and I'm a breast surgeon, here to talk about health in general and breast cancer specifically. Today, I'm here to debunk some of the common myths you may have heard surrounding breast cancer. And why is this important? Well, because understanding the truth is vital for accurate breast health awareness. Only women get breast cancer. True or false? Well, many believe breast cancer affects only women. Now, whilst breast cancer is the number one cancer affecting women, around one in a hundred breast cancer cases occur in men. While it may present at later stages and higher grades, the symptoms are similar to those in women. I've actually made a video specifically about breast cancer in men, and you can check it out to learn more. Breast cancer doesn't discriminate based on gender. It can affect anyone. Finding a lump means you have breast cancer. Of course, discovering a lump can be alarming and most likely you'll think that it might be cancer. Yet, most breast lumps are actually benign. There are a number of potential things a lump in the breast may be. It could be it's just normal lumpy breast tissue. It could be cysts, fibroadenomas, bruising or scarring. While it's essential to get any changes checked, lumps aren't always cancerous. Deodorants and antiperspirants cause breast cancer. And this is a very common thing I hear, and there is a misconception about these products causing breast cancer. I think there is a school of thought that the aluminium component of the deodorant may be carcinogenic, causing breast cancer. Reassuringly, research has found no conclusive evidence linking the use of deodorants or antiperspirants to an increased risk of breast cancer. So, you can use deodorants with confidence and smell good without the worry. Breast implants increase the risk of breast cancer. Now, some worry that breast implants heighten the risk of breast cancer, and this is in fact not the case. Having breast implants does not increase breast cancer risk. Similarly, having breast implants won't stop you from being able to feel a lump that shouldn't be there. Implants won't hide lumps. And this is the reason. When you have a breast augmentation or a boob job, in other words, the implants are actually placed behind the breast, either directly behind or underneath the pec major muscle or the chest wall muscle, which is still behind the breast. If there was a lump in the breast, the implant won't be in the way of you feeling it. Having said that, breast implants have been associated with a type of lymphoma called BIA-ALCL, which is breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, which is a rare type of lymphoma. And if you want me to make a video on that, let me know in the comment section. Breast cancer always comes with a family history. People often believe a family history is a must for breast cancer, and this is not necessarily the case. While family history increases risk, most diagnosed with breast cancer have no such history. In fact, most breast cancers are not linked to family history at all. Only 5-10% to of breast cancers are inherited. Say your mother had breast cancer at the age of 55, that doesn't mean that you will too. Only older women get breast cancer. There is a misconception that only older women or perhaps postmenopausal women can get breast cancer. While age is a risk factor, younger women can also develop breast cancer. Just over 10,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer under the age of 50 every year in the UK. Of these, around 7,600 women will be in their 40s, and 4% of all cases will be in women under the age of 39 which equates to around 2,400 women. So while it is still not as high a number, it is essential to be vigilant about breast health even at younger ages. Breast cancer is contagious. Now this is one of the weirdest myths I've heard. Some fear that breast cancer is contagious. It definitely is not. Breast cancer is not contagious. It's not something that can be passed from one person to the next through contact. There's nothing more to say really. Another myth is a mastectomy eliminates the risk of breast cancer entirely. And this is not true. When we do a mastectomy, about 5-10% to of breast tissue is left behind. And so, whilst a mastectomy reduces the risk of local recurrence, there is still a possibility of cancer occurring along the mastectomy flap or scar. In addition, breast cancer, as we know, can also recur in other parts of the body as well. Heard of other myths? Let me know and I can answer them for you. And I'll see you in the next one.